How's it going, everybody? This is Gotta Train Scroll Your Wall. I have today the Zoroark GX Special Collection Box. So this is a pretty massive box. Uh, comes with a bunch of stuff, including uh, the full art jumbo card of Zoroark GX. Uh, five packs, I believe, of Shining Legends. A promo version of Zorua. And the full art version of Zoroark GX, which should have been in the set, but that's another story. Uh... Then we got the Zorok coin and probably a code card. Let's see. Did I miss anything? Nope, that looks like that's it. Uh, but yeah, lots of goodies in here. Hopefully something really good in one of the Shining Legends packs. Uh, without further ado, let's get this open. Let's start getting into this stuff. So in the background today, I have Shark Gone, Bulbasaur, and Swerve from the Transformers Generations toy line. Uh, specifically the uh, GDO release line, which I forget what exactly that means originally. Uh, but basically it was a line of it was a line of repaints and retools essentially that originally was not like released in the US. Uh, like, it was basically, like, Asian market exclusive, I believe. Uh, but I guess people in the U.S. were racist stink over not getting figures. And so eventually, U.S. Hasbro eventually released them over here, which is how I got this and a few others. Uh, but we'll start with the promos. So focus right on the Zorua here, which also features Zoroark. I actually didn't see that on there. Uh, but that is SM83. Very, very nice. And the other promo... Is the full art textured Zorua or Zoroark GX SM84? Again, this this should this is a card that should be in the set. I'm not a fan at all of how they seem to be like they pull cards out of what would normally be in the sets and make them promos for their own special product. Like, put some more effort into this kind of stuff. Like, just make an alternate art Zoroark or something, please. Stop taking cards out of our sets. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Still a very nice looking card. We have the uh, full art Jimbo version of Zoroark, which is also textured. <laughs> I don't know if that's good for the card or not, but I don't care. It makes a nice sound. Uh, so yeah, it is textured. SM84. Very, very nice. We'll stick that right in the back. We have our five packs of the set code card right here which I'll be keeping to find out what you get I mean for all I know it's probably just the coin I can't imagine what else you get from this that would be useful in the online game except maybe packs but the packs come with code cards so I don't know uh, but there's the Zoroark coin pretty simple uh, and our, our five packs Three Shining Rayquaza, a Shining Mew, and Shining Genesect, so none of the Mew 2 artwork. But we'll just go with the Shining Rayquaza ones. Sandwich right in the middle. And let's get into this. So we'll start with Shining Mew. And I'll give you guys a code card right there. Pause and take them if you want them. Hope to get something nice in your pack. And here's hoping we have something good here. I mean, this is a good sign. Starting off with probably one of my, my favorite Bulbasaur cards now. Like, that's just adorable. Uh, Stunfisk, Quillfish, Shroomish, Scraggy, Lily, Pokemon Breeder, and Ultra Ball. I am still looking for the double colorless energy for the set. So we're going to keep an eye out for that uncommon. Uh, reverse. Lipard, which is right there on the list. So, again, starting off strong with a new Reverse Hollow. The rare card is Reshiram Hollow. It's very nice. Next is the first of the three Shining Rayquaza artworks. Okay, and this, this pack starts with another Shroomish, Quillfish, Litten, Zorua, Ivysaur, Arbok, Pokemon Breeder, and Lily. We 
verse. Mammothy, that's nice. That's a hollow in the set. Not easy to pull from everything I have heard. Uh, so 25, that is, of course, a new one. So very nice two for two with those. The actual rare. Brizian hollow. So if you didn't know, hollows come in, hollows are guaranteed in every single pack. So getting one isn't too exciting for this set. Uh, Cause they're essentially the non hollow rare, like very basic common to pull cards <laughs> for this set, which is weird, but is also very nice uh, for, there we go. So we're gonna go for some ultra rares of some kind. Uh, we have a Litten, Croconaw, Golet, another Bulbasaur, Totodile, Ultra Ball, Venusaur, and Incineroar. The reverse is a Stunfisk. That is a common 46. I have this one already, so we got one duplicate there, but that's all right. The rare, Shining Mew. There we go. There we go. That is a good card to pull. I needed it still even better, but I think this might be the most costly shining in the set. So that's really good to pull. It makes me very happy to see that. <laughs> so a very nice looking card. Very, very nice. So happy to get that. Even if there's nothing in the last two, we got that one. I'm happy. So we got Shining Ray Quasi next. Again. All right. And we have a Scraggy, Quillfish, Torkoal, Minute, Jinx. Incineroar, Pokemon Catcher, and Super Scoop Up. Reverse. Venusaur, that is an uncommon and one I know I have. I got this entire line already completed. The rare. Zekrom Hollow. So another Hollow pull there. It is okay. But we have one last pack for this opening. Let's hope we can at least maybe see the DCE at last. It's very weird to me that I, I am just not pulling an uncommon. Uh, there's another code for you guys. Pause and take it if you want it. Hopefully you get something nice. So we have a Stunfisk, Pikachu, first we've seen of that, uh, Bulbasaur, Totodile, Shroomish, Volcarona, Damage Mover, and Ultra Ball. So still no DCE. The hunt continues. Reverse is a Jinx, that is a common 38. That is another new one. So we went uh, three for five, which is pretty good. I'll happily take that over none. Uh, the final rare card, Mewtwo GX. So there we go. Definitely a Mew, uh, a Mew full opening. <laughs> very, very nice. I do have this one already, but that's, that's, still, that's probably still going to be a good duplicate to pull. Very, very nice. So overall, I'm very happy with this opening. Got a couple of really good cards and a few new ones. Uh, we have the Jinx Reverse, as well as the Manaphy and Lipard. And for new cards, we had the Mewtwo GX. Or I guess this one isn't new, but it's an ultra rare, so it's still honorable mention. <laughs> so Mewtwo GX. But of course, best pull, Shining Mew. Great card to get. <laughs> Very happy with that. But that will do it for this opening, everyone. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Oh, and of course, the promos. Very, very good to get those as well. Fill in a few holes in the binder. Uh, but yeah, that'll do it for this opening, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. Have a great day.